All right, so in this problem, I have three to the power of x to the power of three over nine to the power of x is equal to 81. So I'm gonna first rewrite nine to the power of x as three squared to the power of x, and then rewrite 81 as three to the power of four. Now, this is the same thing as three to the power of x to the power of three minus two x is equal to three to the power of four. Because three to the power of two to the power of x, that's gonna equal three to the power of two x. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x to the power of three minus two x is equal to four, meaning x to the power of three minus two x minus four is equal to zero. So now to solve this, we actually have to find one solution of x before, so we can use that solution to find the other solutions of x. And we actually have to just keep on plugging in numbers until we find a solution. So if you actually plug in two, you get that x equals, or sorry, that the solution equals zero. So x equals two is one solution of x. And now using the solution, we can find the rest of the solutions by doing long division. x minus two, equals zero is a solution. So meaning we have to divide this by our original equation. So we have x, x to the power of three minus two x minus four divided by x minus two. And if you do this, you end up getting x minus two times x squared plus two x plus two is equal to zero. Now this gives me two equations. I have x minus two is equal to zero, and I have x squared plus two x plus two is equal to zero. So for x minus two equals zero, x is obviously equal to two. And for x squared plus two x plus two equals zero, I can use the quadratic formula. So I get x is equal to negative two plus or minus the square root of two squared, which is four, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is two, all over two a. This is equal to negative two plus or minus the square root of negative four over two, which is equal to negative two plus or minus two i over two, which is equal to negative one plus or minus i. So these are my three solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of four is equal to 16. So I'm gonna first start by subtracting 16 on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I'm left with x to the power of four minus 16 is equal to zero. Now x to the power of four, I'm gonna rewrite as x to the power of two times two. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of two times two, I can rewrite that as x to the power of two to the power of two minus 16, I'm gonna rewrite as four to the power of two, this is equal to zero. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is four. So now I have x squared plus four times x squared minus four is equal to zero. Now, this is gonna give me two equations. I have x squared plus four is equal to zero, and I have x squared minus four is equal to zero. So x squared plus four equals zero. I can actually subtract four on both sides, and I have x squared minus four, or sorry, x squared is equal to negative four. 
Now for x squared minus 4 equals 0, I can add 4 on both sides, and I get x squared is equal to positive 4. Now for x squared equals positive 4, this is pretty simple. We just take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 4, that's going to equal positive or negative 2. Now for x squared is equal to negative 4, I'm going to start by doing the same thing. I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 4. However, the square root of negative 4, I'm going to rewrite that as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imagined number i. So I have this square root of 4 times i. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 4 is positive or negative 2. So I have x is equal to positive or negative 2i, and x is equal to positive or negative 2. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 3x squared is equal to 216. So I'm going to first start by rewriting this as x to the power of 3 to the power of x squared is equal to 216. And now I'm going to switch the order of 3 and x squared. So this is the same thing as x to the power of x squared to the power of 3 is equal to 216. I'm going to rewrite as 6 to the power of 3. Now these two 3s can simply cancel out. So now I have x to the power of x squared is equal to 6. Now I'm going to take the power of 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x squared to the power of 2 is equal to 6 squared. And I'm going to switch these two places. So now I have x squared to the power of x squared is equal to 6 squared. And now I can let x squared equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 6 squared. And 6 squared, that's the same thing as 36. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 36. Now if I take the ln on both sides, I get ln y to the power of y is equal to ln 36. And now if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So that's going to equal b times ln a. So in this case, I can move y to the front. front. So now I have y times ln y is equal to ln 36. Now y is the same thing as e to the power of ln of y because the e and ln cancel out. So I'm going to replace y with e to the power of ln y. So now I have e to the power of ln y times ln y is equal to ln 36. Now I'm going to take the w Lambert function on both sides. So I have the w of ln y times e to the power of ln y is equal to w of ln 36. And this results in e to the power of ln y equaling e to the power of w of ln 36. And remember how we let y equal to x squared. So now I have x squared is equal to e to the power of w of ln 36. If I take the square root on both sides, I get x is equal to the square root of e to the power of w of ln 36. And this is plus or minus. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 3 to the power of 13 minus 3. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting this as 3 to the power of 12 plus 1 minus 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get 3 to the power of 12 times 3 to the power of 1 minus 3. And from here, I can factor out 3. So I get 3 times 3 to the power of 12 minus 1. Now, 3 to the power of 12, I'm going to rewrite as 3 to the power of 6 times 2. 
and that's equal to 3 times 3 to the power of 6 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. And I'm writing this like this because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into 3 times 729 plus 1 times 729 minus 1. This is equal to 730 times 728. So from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 700 plus 30 times 700 plus 28. So this is equal to 3 times 700 squared plus 700 times 28 plus 30 times 700 plus 28 times 30. Now this is equal to 3 times 490,000 plus 40,600 plus 840, which is equal to 3 times 531,440, which is equal to 1,594,320. So this is my answer.